Peggy 3. Welcome to the second developer diary for F1 2011. A lot of the feedback that we got on the 2010 title was that the handling is very good. For me that's obviously the thing I want to try and correct as much as possible and improve. It's not a case of transferring what we'd learned from 10 and just putting it back into 11. The suspension has changed completely. Um, the aero has been updated. You can feel more involved with the car now. So the fundamental race experience is different now for qualifying than it is for the race. Qualifying is about those golden two laps, getting it right, hanging the car out there, really pushing it, really attacking the curbs, which you couldn't do last year. You can in them. If you see a driver locking up under braking and smoke coming off the tyres, you can do that in the game. You've got a lot more mechanical grip basically available to you and uh, you can feel that in the slow speed corners. I think it's fair to say last year we were trying to balance handling and AI at the same time, whereas a year later we've already got that foundation there. The easiest way to look at the AI this time around is they're, they're more dynamic in their decisions. In, in F1 2010 they would often make the right decision but then that situation would change and they were committed to a course of action, whereas in F1 2011 they're aware of all the variables, all the surroundings and they're able to adapt their um, responses on the fly if things change. It's about them being in sync with the player, following the rhythm of the race. You know, they'll go for an overtake, you know, a bit of draft, and all of a sudden that side of the track is not the right one to be on. They're much more likely to pull back in rather than just tie a crazy move around the outside. I mean, they can certainly make mistakes. Um, a driver can put too much slot on coming out of the corner and spin out. There is a fairly complex system in the background that talks about the kind of gaps that they'd be willing to go for when they're trying to overtake, how quickly they'll put the throttle on. Like some drivers are smoother than others. Uh, the AI is tougher. Uh, it's a lot more realistic. Uh, you're fighting with them a lot more. They're faster. It's a lot of fun. The handling's much better than last year. Um, there's a lot more control than there used to be with the oversteer and the understeer. You can really feel the car and also save it if you get a bit of a moment. So now you can race nose to tail at such extreme speeds. It really brings the race alive. As each incarnation of the game comes along, you see big steps and, and we've definitely seen a big step in this one. 